getting a lot of requests lately to create a video tutorial touching on curling tips. So I just recorded how to create these soft textured waves at home. I'm gonna go over like what products I use, what tools I use, and like common mistakes that people make at home when curling their hair. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about products. I use Joyco's Joy Mist Hairspray and Joyco's Beach Shake. I also use a wet brush, a clip, and then my Babless Nano Titanium Pro one inch curling iron. Now, what I do first before I do anything is I use my hairspray and spray it on all over my hair and then brush it through. Now, doing this before you curl is going to give you that hold that you need without your hair feeling like stuck and crunchy. Okay, now that my hair is prepped and ready, I wanna to touch on how important it is to evenly section your hair. I feel like I know people will often not take the time to section their hair and they'll just grab pieces and start curling randomly and that's not going to give you that like symmetrical even curl all around. You'll have some sections that are bigger and thicker and then some curls that are like smaller and tighter. So it's really important to actually take the time and section your hair when curling. Okay, so the first quick tip that I'm going to give you is always curl away from your face. And what I mean by that is is taking the iron and making sure you're curling this way rather than this way. Because when you curl in towards your face, it's not as flattering as when it's like nice and away from the face. Okay, so I also wanna to touch on where you can place the iron. Now, I feel like a lot of people will place it here and then roll their hair all the way up. And you can see if you do that, that a lot of hair is like bunched on top of each other and that's not gonna evenly distribute that heat. So it's important, and like you can see how that curl did not very, turn out very well. So you wanna place the iron closer to the root and then lifting the clamp and inching your way down the hair strand. And that's gonna have everything lay on the iron evenly just like that. I'm also leaving the very ends of my hair straight to give it more of like a tousled look. If you curl those ends in there, it's gonna be a little bit more formal having the ends curled as well. And you can see how that curl curled much better. One of the biggest complaints that I hear that my clients say that they have an issue with is when they use an iron with a clamp is that they get like creases in their hair. So I'm gonna show you what you might be doing wrong if you're getting creases from curling your hair with a traditional iron. If you are clamping your hair and you're supposed to be curling it this way to go with the iron, you may be curling it the other way and you can see how this hair is flipped around this side of the iron. If you curl your hair this way, you'll get a weird funky crease in your hair. So you can see how that left like a weird indentation in this curl. So I'm gonna show you on this side how you should curl it. And so you're gonna place it on the barrel, not the clamp, and then go around that iron. The clamp is just holding it in place. Nothing should be facing the other way on that side of the clamp. Everything should just flow nicely on the curling iron. Okay, so after you went through and curled your whole head, it's super important to just let your curls cool down and to where they're not like warm to the touch anymore before you spray any product in there and run your fingers through it. If you do it while your hair is still hot, you're gonna pull that curl out faster and your hair will fall faster. Now that my hair is all cooled down, I'm going to use Joyco's Beach Shake, shake it up and spray it all over my hair and then run my fingers through it.
about it. I hope this video was helpful. This is everything that I do and all the products that I use to recreate these soft textured waves. If this video was helpful, please let me know so I can create more content like this to help you guys style your hair at home.